friends welcome to my youtube channel we will continue our discussion building the website using wordpress and today we will discuss how to create menus in wordpress this video is an introduction to creating menus in wordpress since we will be using the thrive content builder we will be doing something a bit differently but before we get to that part we need to know how to create menus in wordpress we can always tweak things a bit later the locations where you can place a menu depends on the theme you are using some themes allow you one menu that is placed in the header while some themes allow menus in the header and sidebar some themes allow you to add two menus in the header one above the logo and one below the logo to create your own custom menu you would want to go to appearance and go to the menus this is the menu screen to be able to see where you can place menus you need to create a menu first so let's create menu every menu should have a name it's important that you choose a name that lets you know what items the menu contains once your site gets large you may have several menus a name like top menu or left sidebar menu will let you know where you intended the menu to be placed while creating it this is important when you need to choose where to put a menu let's name this one top menu usually the pages that appears in the top menu are about us contact us privacy policy and home so by the name of the menu you know what the menu contains on the left you can choose the items to be added in the menu first you have to create the menu then you can see these are unlocked now so in a menu you can have pages and you can have posts as well you can have custom links that here you can see the pages in most recent or you can view all the pages you have created or if the site is very large you can search the page you which you want so second one is the post here the same and third one is the custom links that link to external website or you can have links to category pages and these are the categories if you can view all you can see that we have created the three categories already but the first item here is pages you can choose items displayed here in the most recent tab or if a page you are looking for is not in this list you can view all pages on your site you can also search for individual pages you can link to individual posts as well if you want to link to an external website you need to enter the url and the link text you can link to category pages as well let's add a few items in the menu now so we have added home contact us and privacy policy and about us pages and you can move them around you can indent items such that they appear one below another you can delete any item from the list by clicking on this downward arrow next to the label and click clicking on remove you can change the navigation label by entering a new label you will want the title attribute to blank and there are multiple options which you can select the xfn link relationship or xhf html friends network is used to specify relationship you have with other webmasters or authors on your site when you are linking to them so let's take a look at the menu settings which you, you can see bottom of the page the menu settings 
you do not want to enable auto add pages this can mess up how the menu looks as we are using only pages theme locations this lets you know the areas where the theme that is currently active lets you add menu the theme that's active currently allows you two menus a primary menu and a social links menu let's select primary menu so once we select the primary menu and save the changes if i save this menu now this top menu will become the primary menu on the website let me save this menu now and if we see now if we see our website here we here you can see after refreshing you can see the menu is appearing here you can change the order in which these pages appear here by moving around these menu items suppose you want privacy policy to be next to home and simply you can shuffle around and save changes and then refresh this page and you can see the changes privacy policy is showing next to the home so you would also want to note that we have intended this item here under home and it is showing up here the theme we are using right now does not allow a menu to be placed in the sidebar we can override these settings and add menus in the sidebar as well or even the footer if the theme we are using allows that we will see how to do that in next videos if you have several menus then you will want to use the options in this tab manage locations to specify which menu appears in a particular location right now we have created only one menu let's create another menu so that we can see how this works let's first save this menu and now let's create a new menu let's call this alternate top menu we need to create a menu before we will be able to add items to this let's now add a few items to this we will add about us contact us privacy policy and click on add in menu then we will add post as well there you can see the items are added in the menu so if we save changes now and go to this tab now we have two menus here we can if we go to this tab manage locations you can see that we now have two menus top menu and alternative top menu so if we save changes
and go to our website and refresh this page you can see that the new menu is appearing here to delete a menu you need to go to the menu screen choose the edit menus tab scroll down and choose to delete this menu you will get a message choose ok and that menu has been deleted we now have only one menu thanks for watching and keep supporting and keep watching my channel for more informational videos